Eyewitness Sports right now. Good evening, I'm Brendan Miller with Eyewitness Sports, and tonight was the night for Utica City FC, the team's first playoff game in three years at the Adirondack Bank Center against the Kansas City Comets. The game sought kickoff at 6 o'clock, the first time that a playoff game has been played at the odds since the 2019 Eastern Division Final, which UCFC lost 2-1 to one to the Baltimore Blast. The Blast were the team that Utica beat in its final regular season game. That clinched a home playoff spot for them. Meanwhile, Baltimore already begun and finished its first round best of three playoff series against the Florida Tropics. They won that in three games to move on to the Eastern Division Finals. Tonight's game was a winner take all for the chance to take on the division's top seed, Milwaukee, in a best of three. The Wave have beaten Utica City in two of three regular season games this year. As far as tonight's contest, though, here was the tale of the tape. Utica City FC and the Kansas City Comets were yet to play in the regular season this year, despite being in the same division, with Utica edging Kansas City out in standing standings points by just one, a 13-10 and one record to finish the year for the home side and an 11-9 and four record at the end for the visitors. UCFC led by first year head coach Everton and one of the MASL's top scorers in Gordy Gerson. Gerson finished the year with a league leading seven game winning goals and finished fourth in goals and third in assists on the season. That placed him in a top for third place in overall points. The man he's tied with for third? That'd be Kansas City's Zach Reggett with 41. Reggett, one of three men above Gerson in goals on the season with 27 total, although he lacks in the assist column, just 14 to Gerson's 19. Goalkeeping also a strength for both squads. The opposing goalies both in the top seven in both goals against average and save percentage. So you wondered which one would win out in this game. The offensive star power on each side or the lights out netminders staring one another down at opposing ends. So how exactly did this one go? Well, it was an electric atmosphere at the odd tonight. Over 3,000 in attendance, led of course by Keeper in the UCFC dance team. But let's look at the game. Set piece for KC in the second quarter and Ray Lee buries it. 3 nothing start for the visitors and they have to be happy with that. UCFC right back in it in the second quarter though. This their third unanswered goal and second of the game for Christian Segura and it's knotted up at three apiece right before the half. But then just 30 seconds before the break, Kansas City with another chance and Ramon Palmer goes top shelf. No chance for the keeper and the Comets lead it four to three at halftime with the late one there. Out of the break though, the game turned. Bo Yelowitz ties it and then in the fourth quarter, a breakaway chance started by Taylor Walter Bond. Gordy Gerson's pass off the boards gets past Bond, but Quinton Swift follows in behind and cleans that up and then watch Swift here as he goes down. He watched the celly from him. That is what you play for. He is pumped 6-5 with seven and a half left. Kansas City won't give in though, just over five to play and Mads Falk with authority ties it back up and sends us into sudden death, golden goal overtime. In the OT, Kansas City called offsides with a free kick from the top of the zone. Ball to Segura at the top and he beats, count him, one, two, three, four, five. And then the first guy again gets it to go side netting. UCFC wins it. In overtime, 7-6, to six, the final score. Segura finishes with a Hattie and the first star. And with that win, the city moves on to play top-seeded Milwaukee. That first game on Thursday in Wisconsin. And then returning to Utica for game two on Sunday. Tickets can be bought online at ucfctickets.com. For now, that's all for sports. Check out CNYHomepage.com for your top sports stories. It's more Eyewitness News coming up right after the break.